Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of A World of Horror. We lost last time in our Harbinger of Doom run with Miku. Lost to Doom was too much of a good thing for her. Actually, uh, we lost uh, by sacrificing ourselves to the old monument god, but uh, the only reason we did that was because there was too much Doom. Today, I'm gonna try the same thing, hopefully with different results. I'll try to play a little more clever, try to avoid the Doom a bit more. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with the money backstory though. Yeah. And maybe Harold. <laughs> Sounds like horrible. Dogship. I think Knight Errant's just a little too hard in Arbinger Doom. Because the, the Doom penalty actually scales, I think. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the game. City of Shiokawa, Japan, 1980X. Something strange is happening in our town. Robed figures can be seen gathering in the woods at night. People are going missing. Disgusting creatures are terrorizing the seaside. The rapid technological progress of the modern era brings comfort, but also new unknown threats. Old gods, malicious eldritch beings who ruled the earth eons ago, are awakening as reality starts to crumble. Armed with clues, spells, and adrenaline sandy, you investigate mysteries across the city and in realms beyond. An old train slows down and stops at its last station. The end of the world is at hand, and you finally arrived in the doomed town. It is my pleasure to invite everyone to the most magnificent ball of your lives. And the last one. Man, I just noticed. <laughs> His face looks very, very uh, lewd. Uh, I'm not... I don't know how in detail I should say, but I don't know. Just, just give it a good look. Okay. Anyways, do the vending machine pair that I don't plan on using pair. Ball machine. Oh, ball. Got library notes, which is good. Third eye is a little dog shit. Just gives plus one perception knowledge. I'm gonna juice it once more. All right, one. Yes, excellent. Ooh. Red of Fate is very good. I think, probably. Depends on who we're facing. It's got an interesting picture too. I think that's a pretty good one. I don't want to get rid of uh, the eyeball thing. Anyways, I think 5 XP is worth one spell. Oh, before I lock that in, let's get the Buccarino. So we've got Cape, Arms, Blood, Painting, botnets. This seems like dog shit. What the hell? I think that might be too much ass whooping. Hmm. I mean, you know what? Let's do it. Bizarre Bruit of the blood-curdling botanist. Your neighbor asked you to help. Her husband, Shiro-san, has gone missing. She is worried it might be connected with the new fertilizer he ordered from Tokyo. Where is he? And why would he need so much fertilizer? Oh, oh this is rough. So, escape the bathroom's minus one reason. Uh, close the door starts a boss, or not a boss fight, just a normal fight with a kind of weak ghost. 
problem is we have no weapon we have three knowledge so minus two reason ah oh, that sucks oh you know what I think I will terrorize him 5% doom is kind of a whole ton of doom the crowbar is very mediocre but uh, this allows me to buy yeah why not the map this will help protect us against the doom loss got a business card of a gardening company where the missing man was working maybe some of his colleagues can tell you something useful Okay, they say a ghost of a heartbroken boy appears here on the street at night. Minus one stamina, RIP. Shiro-san has always been a weirdo, but he was good at what he did. Last month, he ordered a pack of an experimental fungicide from Tokyo. I think I've seen the dispatch order with the address somewhere, the old man says. Help me move this dirt and I'll look for it. It'd be cool if we could get the... Hmm... So buy coffee is just minus one coin. Jog around the block is a strength check to regain one reason. Otherwise, I think we lose stamina. Uh, we'd only succeed 33% of the time. Maybe even 25% if the threat level of the town is high. I think we should just buy a coffee. While the dispatch order is stained with the foul-smelling liquid, you think you can make out the address, at least parts of it. The house is somewhere in a nearby forest. Um, so first of all, what's the threat level of the forest? Yikes. I think I'm going to rest once, maybe. Oh, but I have 12 stamina already. You know what, I'm going to forget the third eye spell. There we go. Got the sparkle in my eyes. I don't think I'm going to lose in the crescendo event, hopefully. Okay. Unfortunately, we can't have allies. Uh, I mean, if we say yes, we might get a dog ally, maybe? I'm not sure. I'm just going to... Minus two reason. It's the one downside of the money backstory. Okay, start running is strength of decks. Confront is luck. I think my luck's probably five. No, six. But still, we have plus two the check, which by the way is absolutely horrible. That's so much of a modifier. Okay, <laughs> minus two reason again. <laughs> Shit. Okay, so I can prepare myself for some doom or fight the feeling for some doom. Uh, and a curse. Chaos rises. All stats improved. Oh man. <laughs> this is not going well. Minus two reason? It only did minus two, not minus three for whatever reason. I wonder why it sometimes doesn't apply the extra penalty. And I'm thankful for it, but you know. Uh, so the Dream Eater is a beast. Or like a monster. We do have a crowbar. It's doing three all damage. Can we get a brace and a decent attack? No. We can do a 50% chance to do four damage. Uh, let's see. I mean, hold up, could we Desperate Struggle and Strong Attack? 40 time. Oh, that's so ass. Could we Desperate Struggle and do two normal swings? No. Our strength is actually kind of okay-ish, but not enough to really get a good... Man of stuff. 
I really want to fight this thing. Uh, for one, we have 27 Doom before we're even in the first mystery zone. Okay, let's say I brace and kick. I'm going to be doing 2 damage, goes down to 11 HP. And then maybe I try to make a Desperate Struggle work. But if I Desperate Struggle, I can't prep Strong Attack. Uh, I could get a 80% chance to hit. Which... Mm, it's kind of a humongous gamble. Yeah, this is just not good. I kind of think we have to run. We're gonna be, it's gonna be plus 5% doom and minus like 10 XP though if we do run. But we're probably gonna save two reason. We also have no idea what's coming next. I think before we go, we've got a Meditate a little bit, just so I have slightly more even stats. The reason I went for uh, running away is I figured if we do find it, we're going to be low enough where we could have gotten a random event, lost two reason, just died. So it had to be done. Finally, after what felt like hours of following the dirt road, you find the old mansion. It's completely overgrown, with plants you've never seen before. In front of the mansion, there's the gardening company minivan filled with boxes. Slowly, you enter the building with caution. You fall down. So, there's no fucking way <laughs> I'm fighting this dude. He's gonna do four all damage. It's just absolutely pointless. I mean, maybe we could take him, since he's softened up by the plants, but we get XP anyways. I think we'd spend so much time recovering that it just wouldn't be worth uh, whatever we got out of it. It wouldn't be worth the 3% doom. Vines whip you, covering your exposed skin in deep lacerations. You cry in pain, dropping the body of Shiro-san. There's no way you'll be able to save him. With a heavy heart, you run, leaving the man you were supposed to protect behind. Boom, we got riots, and cut off from the outside world. I forgot we were doing heralds. Uh, <laughs> this is going to be a fucking rough-ass run. Damn. We're almost back to okay-ish, stat-wise. Hmm. If we did the peculiar painting, we could just go for the sea ending and fight the Deuterino. My only concern is he might... So I was thinking I could maybe use the Thread of Fate to just instant kill him. I just don't know if he counts as a person or if he'd count as Eldritch. Cause he's all like fucked up, you know? Same thing, I'm pretty sure Akamanto true form is Eldritch. I don't know if it's uh, man form is Eldritch. Probably gonna have to fight the man anyways. Hmm. I kind of think we should go for the painting just because, uh, Roads closed could fuck us. I think it's probably easier than the Frightening Flood. I'm going for it. Perilous parable of a peculiar painting. A damp looking letter addressed to you arrived this morning. Mamiya Ichiro, a famous painter you were once a huge fan of, has replied to a message you sent him last summer. 
He thanked you for the letter and invited you to his mansion. You're going to witness the creation of his true masterpiece, he wrote. Just how could you decline? You finally arrived at the mansion's gate. You're afraid you'll never be able to remove the lingering musty smell of wetlands from your clothes. Now, where is everybody? You know, I think this time I'm gonna... Not go through every single bit of dialogue. Uh, because we did this mystery last episode too. Oof, this is rough. So investigate the ground for clues is perception. Uh, we're doom max in the forest, so <laughs> that's like a one sixth chance of success. Search the chant is luck for stamina loss. I'm gonna do that. I'm having a pretty good day today. So, okay, before I get into the tangent, do I go for the boss fight? It might be a deadly boss fight, we might just lose. We could just, hmm, could just go for the B ending. I think we should just go for the A ending. A or B. Okay. <laughs> that counteracts the, huh, this road wasn't here before. This feels bad, man. Yeah, I've got some no-bake cookies, which are cool. Them eaten already. I think I will take Doomed already, and I'm going to juice my strength even more. There are countless paintings hanged on the walls of the mansion. Yeah. Oh. You guys are having a good day as well. I've yet to exercise. It's probably something I should do. I've got a... Hmm. Touch the stone? I think we should touch the stone. I mean, that will be stamina loss, but retreat from the room's reason loss. Study the symbol would also be reason loss. There we go. Oh no. It's the animated head. Okay, it's got pretty big power level. Could just take a crowbar swing at it. Here's what I'm thinking, actually, though. <laughs> this is some uh, wacky advanced level tactics, but I think what I'm gonna do do I really want to do this? Actually, never mind. I'm, I'm checking out. I was thinking about maybe meditating to drop my stamina low enough where I could do the super tank to kill this creature in one turn. I think that's actually probably a dog shit idea because we'll just end up like getting one minus two stamina event and dying. Is it better to have a guaranteed two damage or risk four? Probably the four. I'm going for it. <sighs> Man. Okay, I've hit the attack. Oh, maybe they shouldn't have done this. I might have fucked this up bad. Well, at this point, there's no getting around it. So that's 8 HP. I could risk it all on a 60% chance, but that sounds horrible. I think we just do this. 
you must grab Emi, who almost faints at the sight of the room you both enter. Every visible surface is covered in obscene paintings and grotesque monster faces. Chiro San sits alone in front of an empty canvas. He smiles when he notices you two. Ah, my biggest fan and Miss Emi is here. He stands up and comes closer, looking at you from behind his dark glasses. Would you please be kind and wait at the foyer? I need Miss Emi to help me with the latest painting. Okay. Fuck, are we just fucked? God damn it. So I could go for the B ending. If we didn't fight the little hair motherfucker, we could have gone for the boss. If it's doing four or five damage, we're gonna be taking two around. We have just enough attack to let's just pretend we could brace prep and smack. That's four damage round. It has like thirty HP. We can't fight it. Even if we go Super Saiyan God Key Kaioten times ten, that's just gonna be twelve damage in a single round. But we're gonna miss out on like four reason from Emi. I don't know, maybe, uh, we can go into the negative and then recover? Mm -mm. God, this is horrendous. Uh, we could just do a juice of the library notes and see if we get something crazy. But I don't think there's any spell. No, there is one spell. We could get the reason sucking spell. Yeah, why not? Multiply wound. That's okay ish. That's a 5 damage spell, basically, at best. Uh, whatever. I look for a way out. Minus two stamina plus three reason. Awesome. When you re-enter the room, Amy is nowhere to be seen. He smiles and thanks you for your patience. Before you can say anything, he steps aside, showing you his greatest work. At first, you can't even tell what you're looking at. Ichiro San's smile gets wider when it finally hits you. My greatest work, the ultimate painting. It's impossible. How could he paint it so fast, and where's Emi? The details are so lifelike. He covers the painting with a piece of cloth before handing it to you. I would like you, my greatest fan, to have this painting as a memory of our meeting. The silent scream of Emi having her head crushed by a monstrous beast will haunt you forever, but it's an offer you can't refuse. Okay, road's closed. Horrendous. Arcane Storm, also horrendous. I think it doesn't affect Multiply Wounds, though. So. It does affect our other spell. It's a little bit dog shit. At the very least, we don't have Contaminated Water. I've got a feeling. I've got a bad feeling about this run. <laughs> it's not a good run so far. Uh, I think we need to rest. I'm gonna rest one mystery. I think rather than fight uh, Akamanto, uh, it's probably better to get the adrenaline perk or try to at least. So, going for arms. Alarming account of abnormal arms. I remember when it started. The woman next door was strangled to death in her bed with no sign of forced entry. The killer was never found and the apartments remained vacant. Follow the map. Using the map, you discover that some of the intersections don't change at all. It takes a while, but you finally find a way out. The passage to the cursed neighborhood slowly closes behind you. Awesome. Plus two reason. That's so friggin' good. Guess I'll visit the hospital. The side quest out of the way. Minus two reason. Awesome. <laughs> it comes and it goes. Okay, Father Yusugi, hell yes, I'm lifting the heaviest box. He can't stop me. 
I'm gonna rest once as well. I might rest twice. It's better to get the rest in early. Yeah, I'm gonna listen to me. Minus five doom, minus three reason. And I can rest once, get plus two reason stamina. It's better to rest earlier, I think, with heart. Binger, or whatever his name is, Harold. Because uh, he does double town stasses, and the town stasses can fuck up your stuff. Okay, minus one stamina, RIP. I think I suffered minus two stamina somehow, which is very annoying. Okay, it's a gigolo. No big deal. He only has 10 power, so we can get a proper attack easily. I do think we're kind of forced to do this sequence and do 4 damage, because he's doing 3s in damage. Generally speaking, because it rounds down, the value calculation uh, is skewed, basically. Because basically the way I think of the math is like if an enemy's doing two damage, then you really you could brace and have it do one, and the math is like how much damage can you get out per point of damage. With this gigolo dude, he's doing three, but it rounds down to one, so I'd have to be doing 12 damage rounds to make it the same as not bracing. Hold up, can I? That's too risky. I'm just gonna do one more swing, normal. Alright, get bashed. Yeah, I got one funds. Okay, I was a little worried they patched the looting thing, but apparently they did not. Right, sixty percent doom. Okay, second neighbor is complaining about weird noises coming from the vents when she's at home. Uh, so if I get closer, it's a dex check. I talked about this last episode. It's a jet dex check for minus two reason or XP. Call the police is just like plus doom, so I'm gonna get closer. Ooh. Because the value calculation is better. I'd rather take the damage and rest than just take Doom and not rest. Because it adds up to more stats. At least because I don't have Fetid Fumes going right now. I think I should visit the monument do some resting juggling. Money, please. Okay, funds. Funds me. Okay, whatever. So we lost 9% doom, so resting twice. It's a net, uh, net. I think we got more stats out of it. Funds. Yes! Ho! That's good. That is some good shit right there. And I'll use these three funds to get another rest in. Very good. I feel confident. We can... Surely we can fight Akamanto like this. Every room is connected by vents coming from the unused boiler room. Could it be? You enter the dark boiler room and trip over the pipe. Cursing, you find a light switch and gasp in horror. It's not a pipe at all. It's a long, rubbery arm coiling around the room and ending in a ventilation shaft. Coming closer, you can smell something vile and rotten. Awesome. The police have arrived, the whole building was searched. Following the arms, detectives find the body of a man stuck in a ventilation shaft. He's later identified as the building caretaker. In his closet, police find pieces of underwear and voyeur photos of the tenants. You're questioned thoroughly and eventually released as the murder case is being covered up as a case of an unfortunate gas leak. Okay, freaky flood. Absolutely horrible. Winds of plague. Does not matter. Pretty good one to have. I'm gonna reroll the perks. I think we're gonna legitimately lose if we don't get adrenaline, so I'm forced. 
I'm going to strength max some more as well. Now the real question is, first of all, Bathola, which boss do we do while we're all sparkly and new? We've got two mysteries left, Cape and Frightening Flood. The Flood is a recent boss. Um, we won't be able to rest. We won't be able to rest in this zone if we want the A ending. So maybe it makes more sense to do Akamant. Uh, no, maybe it makes more sense to do the Fable now since we're all healthy. I think so. Yeah. Because otherwise, like, we're going to be entering this, like, fresh after boss fight and we'll be forced to rest. <coughs> this wouldn't be good. Freakish Fable of a Frightening Flood. A group of researchers from a university in Tokyo are researching a curious rock formation. It was discovered a few weeks ago by tourists in a village next to Shiokawa. You've read about it in a newspaper. The sudden disappearance of the tourists was the subject of school gossip for a few days, but ultimately, no one was found. The rock formation must be somehow connected to the events happening in your town. Feeling that researchers can help you, you decide to pack yourself and visit the village yourself. Right, we arrive at the inn. Well, at the bus stop. Dude comes out of the bus, tries to stab us. He's actually pretty tough. But also we have a 90% chance to hit him. So we can do 8 damage around. Pretty sure this is just Chikakura or whatever in disguise, or like possessing someone. So if you look at his face, like he clearly has no nose. It's got the same eyeballs. I think it's this dude. All right, he grunts loudly, and I smash him in the face. Boom. He managed to defeat the mysterious assailants, but he flies into the woods before he can tear his mask off. Who was that? You enter the inn, hoping to find the research team there. All but one room are empty, and the last one you find a visibly stressed man, Matsuda-san, the expedition leader. Thank God you've came. We've been attacked by the villagers and got separated. I'm worried for my colleagues. The things we've learned here... The knowledge. It's too dangerous. We must escape this place as soon as possible. The last time I saw my team was at the school. We used an empty classroom to keep our research notes and equipment. You should look there for clues. Remember, we must flee before the river level gets too high, or else. Hell yes. Aw oh, man, if had the looting perk. Oh. Ooh. Someone has drawn a weird occult symbol on the sand patch. You quickly erase it with the branch and you instantly feel a wave of relief washing over you. Got the research notes. Let's get the forest out of the way first. Okay. Now let's check failure, plus one reason. Awesome. I always love the events which have no downside to losing or failing it. Uh, just generally speaking, because it's awesome, but with her, it's just like net gain as well. Uh, I think there's no reason not to fight Worm Girl because we don't need our stamina for this boss, and more levels, more good. She reaches into her eye socket. That's fucked up. Don't reach into your eye socket. Okay, we could rest it on a 90% chance. But I think that'd be foolishness. I'm just gonna brace. 
She grabs a handful of worms and shoves them into your mouth. No me gusta. A looter pockets on the way down. Got 8 XP. Not very worth. Okay, take a peek core five. Oh! Minus two stamina. Oh no. Fuck, do we go for the B ending? Oh I mean we could gamble. We could gamble uh that we won't lose stamina from a random event. And there's not that many school events that I mean there's Crazy Lady, it's minus stamina. I I think I have to rest. This sucks. It's extra sucky because we're close to max on our uh, reason to. Okay, it's the <laughs> young witch. Damn it. Oh man, she's gonna be doing so much stamina damage. I guess I could use Thread of Fates just get rid of her. Since it's probably not going to work on Akamanto and it's going to give us XP. It's going to cost 5 reason though. We can go from 13 to 8 before a reason boss fight. The alternative is to just fight her and get hit once and then Super Saiyan kill her. Or to run and get 5 doom and we're already on 70% doom. This is rough. Real son of a bitch, young witch. I think Threat of Fate makes the most sense. Just take the reason loss. Probably not gonna lose against Chikura. Six experience points? You've gotta be kidding me. I probably should have rested at the inn once more. Oh, this guy's horrible. It's a ghost. A ghosty goo. It's doing three all damage. I can do four damage around, or seven with an offering. Can I brace an offer? I can. So seven, 14, 21. I'd be taking two all damage to get probably 10 XP. The alternative is, again, fleeing and getting 5% doom. Which I just don't think is worse, uh, worth. I think we've got to do this. This sucks. Okay, he scares you. Uh, we might be able to... Actually, hold on. 7 plus 4 is 11, right? No. Oh, why aren't my spiritual actions faster? I have adrenaline. This is bullshit. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, whatever. You're not getting another dime out of me, human torch. 14 XP is pretty good. Okay, the river's level is too high and the waves crash against the village buildings. I most certainly should have just rested instead of finding, uh, going to the village again, because there's no way to get that one, dude. This is our last chance! Let's go! All the villagers have disappeared. Where are they? They're dancing around. All naked-like. So the enemy's doing three damage. Which is horrendous. Uh, you have to take out the villagers. They have 40 power because, for whatever reason, the secondary enemy always inherits the power of the first enemy. Other traits as well. So we're going to be doing 7 damage around. There's not much we can do. Uh, I guess against Chikuro we could do like Super Saiyan God Key. We could just uh... 
We could risk it for 10 damage instead of doing 7 guaranteed. Uh, what's the math on that? So we have a 90% chance. Let's just pretend the first one's 100. So it's 5 plus 60% of 5 is 3. So that's 8 damage projected output. Versus the other one. I think we should go for it actually, because if we do hit both, then we can just uh, do the guaranteed against the villagers. <sighs> I missed the first one, but hit the second one. Unbelievable. Yep. At this point, we might as well just do the guaranteed. All right. The villagers are dead. Shakura is going absolutely ballistic. We could cast Multiply Wound, but I think this is a boss where we'll just die instantly. We hit zero. Okay. So Shakura is going to have... <laughs> That's not good. It's going to have... Let's, let's do some math. So 32 minus 7 is what? 30, 25. Uh, can we do 25 damage when we go Super Saiyan? No, we can do 10, 20 damage at best. So then, I guess... We have to do this RNG sequence. Because if we do 10 damage now, then we can do some crazy shit next turn. I think we've got to... All right, come on, Iron Jesus, please. Oh. You know what? Okay, fuck Iron Jesus. It's a capricious bitch. We're lucky we had the spell from the start. All right, Super Saiyan. God Key, Kaioken times 10. Please, for the love of God, don't fuck me now. Nine damage? No! Why didn't it double all the damage? Unbelievable. That's so sucky. Oh. Man. Fuck. I should have known. I should have just cast wounds. I think oh, I would have gotten that ending if I had a uh, zero HP as well. Damn. This is all because we bought the fucking human torch. Oh, that was the big mistake. Because we could have rested and progressed the mystery, and we would have had, like, four more reason to work with. I should have thrown the crowbar, too. That would have also worked. Fuck. Oh. Oh well. Sometimes the difference between victory and loss is as tiny as one choice, I guess. Or I guess two choices in that case. Maybe three with fighting the hair thing, but we don't really have the luxury to avoid a lot of fights on Harbinger Doom, so I kind of felt like I was locked into the other one. It is what it is, though. Anyways. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you next time for more World of Horror. Goodbye!